allergy and infectious diseases, now believes that telling families to eliminate peanuts actually made things worse. Was that an error? I didn't make the recommendation. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't say it was an error. I think what it was, it was a judgment call that in the retrospect was the wrong call. So that wrong call 17 years later was reversed by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases recommending you now expose infants to peanuts early so that they get used to it, you know, generate an allergy. Now we have the first study showing the impact of this exposure. Already you've got a 40% decline in peanut allergies. Peanuts have gone from the number one uh, most allergenic food, most kids affected, to number two. Eggs are now above it. This is the beginning of a major change. The reason I say it hasn't the, enough responsibility has not been claimed is because most caregivers in the latest survey still don't expose their kids to peanuts early on because they're remembering that earlier piece of bad medical advice. The American Academy of Pediatricians, Pediatrics, they need to be out front, like loudly beating the drum on this because clearly as this new study uh, shows, it's written up in the Times today, it can make a massive difference. So am I, in I mean, so, oh, did I do that? I did. Fuck. All right, I'll figure that out later. Uh, so, do you have a child that was uh, exposed early on with um, with uh, peanuts? I mean, what did your doctor say? 